First, Minister Hallingdor, can you please just describe Sweden's approach to dealing with coronavirus and how many people think it is different than many European countries? Yes, uh, to start to say that we have the same goals as other countries to try to stop the virus from being spread in our society, to protect the vulnerable people and the elderly one in the risk group. And we have the same goals and the similar tools, I would say, uh, making sure that we can uh, keep social distance, make sure that people stay at home with the slightest symptoms. Uh, we have anything but business as usual in Sweden. We have lots of restaurants, cafes, bars uh, with no customers, so they have to be shut down. Uh, we have uh, students on the uh, upper secondary school and uh, the higher education. All of them are studying online. We have 30, 40 percent of the the, uh, the Swedish uh, people in the labor force working at a distance in their own homes and the people above 70 have restrictions and uh, are staying at home with very few social contacts and getting people to shop for them and so on. So uh, uh, we have no lockdown or shutdown of everything, uh, but we have many things very different from just some weeks ago. But I think the thing that surprises most people is that, especially the video we see from Stockholm, people are going to restaurants, they're going to cafes, their social life continues in a fairly normal way. Is that is that accurate? Uh, it's it's anything but as usual. Uh, it's correct. I mean, you can see some restaurant at some time uh, with actually too many people. That's why in the uh, the past days, uh, restaurants have to be closed uh, by the local authorities because they didn't keep the distances. Uh, but I would say that uh, mostly it's being very well uh, followed by the Swedish people. They're very responsible. Uh, we have about 60% less people in the, uh, in the commuter traffic. Uh, and as I said, we have uh, all the students from upper secondary school to, to the higher education studying online. Uh, and we have lots of uh, extra budgets from, from the government uh, to make sure that people really uh, can manage with their economy when many people are on sick leave and losing their jobs. Have you had to adjust your policies as you see the data coming in, the cases and the numbers of deaths? Because there there has been a growth in, in deaths in Sweden. Yes, as in many countries, we can see uh, the, the situation uh, is being changed. We're following that very closely. And we have a combination of the, the legally binding measures as well of recommendations and a big responsibility for each and every one. And we're also always prepared to, to make them even stronger. I noticed lots of European countries, not least, uh, have a, a debate and then a discussion whether they should lift their restrictions, how to start the exit strategies. We don't have that kind of debate in Sweden. It's not uh, something which is uh, for now uh, because we need to keep. And that is one important part of the way we're working. And if you want the Swedish strategy is to make sure that all the kind of recommendations and, and the legally binding measures we have, they have to last for a long time. People have to manage that, not for a few weeks, but for many months, probably.